Every day, turn on the machines and we start talking. We're gonna be here for an hour. Look at Sobo and Charlie. Olga and Charlie. Hey. Charlie, say hi. Yeah. Nope. It's wet. Charlie's wet today. Charlie, been in the rain? Yes. You want a treat? Your Charlie wants a treat. Look at this. Charlie can catch stuff. You ready? Yeah, yeah, good boy. All right. All right. How are you doing? I'm really tired. Uh huh. And what? And anxious. Uh oh. And Charlie didn't catch that. Yeah, Charlie, you missed that one. Damn dog. Anxious, huh? You ready to go? I think that's why I'm getting anxious. I'm getting like the last minute jitters. Is that's in like three days? You're gonna be that's on the plane? A, that'll be in Wednesday, yeah. Oh, so like Wednesday. two days, yeah, or some shit like that. I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, so you caught it and you're getting on a plane, packing up your stuff. You know where you're gonna go? Where? What? What? You, you know what you're gonna do in New York? I have no idea. You gonna? You have a place to stay? I have a place to stay, but I don't have the apartment number. I just have the house and the street. Oh, apartments. That's very New York, yeah. Yeah, it's in Bushwick. <laughs> like Bushwickville. What's Bushwickville? From uh, the Ghetto Boys? Probably. Yeah, I think it is. He's, he's the midget. I would imagine so. That's the case. When was the last time you were on the program? A week ago? It might have been a week ago. Was it one week? Was it? It was the day of the show. That was on a Tuesday. Yeah, that was a Tuesday day. It was the 30th. That was like a two weeks ago. That was like a week and a half. Let's be really accurate about it. Did you see anything on the streets since then? Since then, what has been going on on the streets of Olympia? Yep. Oh, man. Have you seen anything on the streets since then? Uh, yeah, I saw, the, I saw all freaking night last night. There was, uh, it was crowded. Did you guys go to that? It was a good time. I did not. Tell us about it. It went all night. Those movies went from midnight till 10 a.m. I did that, and now I'm tired, too. What was? What did they show? Oh, Santa Sangre. Well, that's on Netflix. That makes no sense why they would show it on... Yeah. But anyways, that's a Jodorowsky one, right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think the, they showed Driller, Driller Killer, which is a good one. That's about a guy who kills people with a drill. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try this? Yeah. Throwing food at the dog. Oh, wasn't there a Lynch movie too? Yeah, they showed Eraserhead, which is pretty common. No, oh, there's like some garbage in there too. <laughs> there's a beer cap. Okay. Yeah. All right, Charlie, are you ready? That was Lynch's first movie. Ready? Ready? Oh, he did not catch it. You gotta throw it higher. Oh, and you lost it too. Now he's gonna. <laughs> where'd it go? Uh oh. Now he's now now he's gonna be trying to find it. Oh. Here, I'll give you this one. There you go. No, sit. Sit. You can have all. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna hand it to him. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to him. I don't want to. We got a text message. It's from uh, James, I think. He says James. Oh. says, James is drunk off some E and J, F, S, O, or V, S, O, P, what's that? What does that mean? E and J, V, S, O, P, chillin' in Stillicum at my house, but fiendin' for some speed. <laughs> J oh, yeah, James wants to do meth, but we're not, he's not supposed to do meth. Okay. Uh, he, I told him, he came to my program, told me that he had a meth addiction, that he's over it. But then, not too long ago, he had a, a relapse there and went back into um, smoking the meth. And I told him that if he ever thinks about doing meth, to call the program instead of his uh, meth people there. And we're going to try to keep him off of meth. And it seems like it's working. He, I, told him, I also told him that he should probably cut down on drinking a little bit if he's going to try to stay off the meth. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good advice. But he uh, is still drinking heavily, but it looks like he called us when he was... 
drinking heavily and said that he wanted to do meth. Are we calling him back right now? Yeah, we're calling him back. Okay. We're gonna. Uh oh, I think we're out of food, Charlie. Sorry, baby. Hello? Oh, hey, Alex. Hey, what's up? It's the program. I guess. Are you. Okay. Are you hey. answering. You're answering James' phone, huh? Yeah, I'm with yeah, James right now. You're answering his phone? What? This is his phone, right? That's my phone. Oh yeah, James. Uh, you you did did you did you stay off the meth when you were drunk? No. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. You you did not do meth. No. Good. Congratulations. So you. <laughs> it's a good thing we. Thanks for thanks for calling him and checking on him. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. So did you? Wow, uh, you're doing good. Did you pull out your phone yeah. and maybe you wanted to call a drug dealer, but then you called us instead? Did that happen? No, that didn't happen. Oh. Because he texted us and he said that he's fiending, what, he's fiending for speed. <laughs> maybe he just wanted to run really fast. Yeah. Did you just want to run? You didn't want to... Yeah. If you fiend yeah, for speed, he wasn't. go on a bike ride. What? Go on a bike ride. You go on a bike ride? Down a hill. Actually, I don't know. Maybe that's dangerous. You are? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're here hello? with you. Yeah. yeah, hello. They're from Lakewood. Do you have any questions to them? Over You're here? from Lakewood? What do you do in Lakewood? What do you Lakewood. <laughs> what do you do there? Um... We we walk to the beach and sit on some rocks and paint on some rocks and we see drug people around and I pray for them. Yeah, she's and a Christian. Oh. That's pretty much all. And I uh yeah, you can walk around in the rain, whatever. It's raining. Yeah. How is, is it that? raining right now in Olympia? Yes. It's pouring. Is it? Mm-hmm. Wow. Heavy rain. Who's that? Who's that girl? My name is Olga. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey. Are you, are you a new guest? Are you a new guest? New guest. Newish, second her, time. Yeah, second, second time, time on the program. Wow. So cool. Yeah. yeah, I'm super stoked. Yeah. All right, well, hey, stay off that meth. James, maybe, I mean, I guess you were drinking and you didn't do the meth again, but remember I said, you know, you got to look out while you're drinking because that makes you want to do the meth, I think, you know, James. Not always. Yeah, he's doing good. What is he saying? He said it doesn't make him want to, but it makes him easier to submit. Yeah. Oh. Don't submit. C commit. Don't. Commit to sobriety. He's, he's only going to submit to Jesus. There you go. That's that's where is it's he? at. I, I don't think he is. Alex is trying to get him to be a Jesus person, but he's... Oh, yeah. He's only going to submit to me and Jesus. Yeah. Let's find Jesus together. Okay, hey, it's time for the dice game. Okay, I pick number one. Okay, oh. Charlie, get, Charlie gets a three. He uh -oh. picked four. What, what happened? James picked a four. Okay, well, we'll give him some numbers here. Here you go. We're going to write a number. Charlie gets a three. Here, you want to roll? You want to roll it? So we have one, four, and, and three for Charlie. Here you go. Can you roll these? Can you roll the I will. Here we go. We're going to roll the dice. Two, 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 two. Oh, five and two. Five I lost. And two. Five and two. Five and two. What did you have? I got a two. Oh, you won. Yeah. Five hundred points. Five hundred points. I had a six. I lost. Damn. Charlie lost. Alex and James, you all lost too. You're the only winner. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty good. 
there. Well, oh, uh, hello? You lose them. Hello? <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, I think I'm. Bye bye. Ciao. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, there they go. Charlie, what do you want? You think he's thinking about food? He, th he wants more food. He doesn't even I know what he wants. I fed him about. everything that I had. We already gave you all, it, Charlie. You see anything on the streets though, Charlie? Yeah. All right, that was uh, that was James from Lakewood, not doing meth. And that is the happy story, happy yeah. ending to a story. Well, it's it's not the end yet. It's a uh, constant <laughs> battle for your whole life. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Yeah. It is a constant battle. But a happy ending for that. For now. For now, yeah. Hopefully he'll stay off it, though. We'll, we'll keep in touch. We'll keep calling him and uh, making sure he's off the mess. But I, I think it's good that he called us because that's what I told him to do. If er anybody uh, is going to, if he ever thinks about the meth, I guess maybe uh, it's, yeah. And then he'll call us and he'll think about how, like the last time he did it, he told us about it. And he's like, he said he felt bad because he, he had to tell the program about it, and so now uh, whenever he does it, he ha he I don't know he has some kind of compulsion to call TV. Oh, so that's good. It's no. keeping him off off of it because he doesn't want to admit to, I guess the world. I don't. I guess he did in the first place. I'm not really sure why he brought it up in the first place, but I wouldn't go on TV and say hey, he's I'm doing that. But he did it. So. I mean, maybe that's what he needed to really like kick the habit to like make a statement to himself and everybody else. Yeah. I don't know. Here's another message. It's from an unknown caller. Let's see who it is. Kianis. Yeah, it's uh, Saturday night, 10 o'clock, and this is uh, Freddie's dad, and we're sitting here listening to Radio K... E... K... Uh, K... E... X... P. -E -X -P. And the fabulous Downey Brothers are on there. I thought maybe you'd like to hear a little bit. Whoa. He's holding the phone up to the radio. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. They're uh, live on uh, KEXP. I'm sure it does, and not over the phone. Right. Good job, Freddie. Good job, Mertis, and the rest of the band. Yeah, good job. That's nice. Freddie's dad. We should call Freddie. Goodbye. And tell him. Oh, bye. Where is Freddie from? Uh... I think he grew up in Vancouver, Washington. Mm-hmm. Okay, so his dad didn't come that far to come hang out. No. No. But I don't know where, I mean, his dad wasn't even in town. They were on the radio. That wasn't live. Yeah. Live, live. So I don't know, his dad could have maybe still been in wherever he is. Is that isn't like a? I think they moved somewhere, but I'm not really sure. So we'll hear this yeah. call. Freddie will tell him his dad called us. Oh, my head is wet. I walk around with this hood, and I can't even tell. Hmm. Freddie, he's gonna answer. He should. I'm listen to his phone ring. Hello? Freddy! Freddy! Hey guys! What's up? How's it going? Good, we're on TV. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. I'm driving to uh, TCTV to drop off tonight's episode. And hopefully I'll schedule a bunch more tonight too. But I'm uh, doing the last minute drop off again. So trying to avoid doing that too much. But here I am again. Went to All Freaking Night last night, and it, uh, I'm very tired, but it, uh, it was really awesome. Did you enjoy All Freaking Night? Oh, so much. It was it was the best. Oh, what's that? Uh, whoa, my brakes are acting funny. Oh, no. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be talking on the phone right now. Let me call when I get to CCTV. You going to call back? Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, ciao. Be Bye. safe. Right. His brakes aren't working and it's raining out. That's kind of bad. And it's dark. And he's talking on the phone. Mm -mm. Any well, more messages? Yeah, here's another voicemail from uh, another unknown caller here. 
They're from the 360 area code, and they were calling while the show was happening, so I bet they were probably watching the show. Oh, this must have been last night then. Yeah. Wonderful. It wasn't live, was it? It's not live, yeah. It's never live. I didn't well, think it, so. It's been live a couple of times, but only on very special occasions. Only like maybe twice ever, so. Okay. Hey, it's Jackie in Washington State. I was just catching her show for the first time and wondering what it was all about. So What's it all about? I still don't know, but I was calling to ask you. I'll wrap with you later. Good night. Oh, she's going to wrap with us. Thanks, Jackie. Let's call her back. Let's call Jackie back. I want to know more about her. Yeah, we're actually going to get into info time pretty soon here. So I don't want to... If we call Jackie back while well, it's info time, she won't know what's happening and she might hang up. So we're going to wait for info time. We'll call Jackie back right after info time happens. Okay. We have a couple more messages also. Mr. Ginsu left us a bunch too. Here's Mr. Ginsu. Let's see what he has to say. Do you remember Mr. Ginsu? Did you, did you talk to him last time we were here? Who's Mr. Ginsu? He likes to curse. <laughs> Was he the one with the iPad? No, that's Carl. That's Carl. Carl does not like to curse. No. Mr. Ginsu was on the phone, probably, if you talked to him last time. Uh, I don't think we did. Oh, okay. Oh, it's loading. Something's gone. Going slow with it now. We're going to load the message here, Mr. Ginsu. Uh, it should be about info time very soon. And then Where, oh. well, yeah. Hmm. Charlie, you're taking a nap. Here it is. Well, I guess it's to be expected. I just seen on TV people were saying that the marijuana law vote thing is going to... They think that it's going to be rejected now in the upper court. Or, I don't know. Um, but all I can tell you is it sounds to me like somebody in the feds or the want me to go down there and I can open my app, you know? Yeah. I can go down and pop up them in a cunt kicking contest like no other. Whoa. So, they better figure it out before I fucking figure it out for them. All they said, um, you have to repeal the law or something. Well, just repeal the Fed law. Fuck, it ain't that fucking hard. You can repeal this one, you can what? repeal the old one. They, they're both the fucking same. They're both the law. So now, you repeal the one, or you repeal the other. Well, the majority says you repeal the other. What the fuck, over? What? Don't fucking come down here and tell me uh, you know, I ain't going to be legal for everybody. I'm already legal. I'm medically illegal. Don't fuck me over. Okay. Mr. Uh, I'm coming down. I'm not there. <laughs> I'm going down over the other place. And, and fucking it ain't gonna be funny. Right? Yeah. Cause I ain't in a fucking funny mood, motherfucker. Yeah. Mr. Ginsu is fearful that the federal government will overturn uh, Initiative 502 with the marijuana law. Which I heard is gonna happen, maybe. I mean, it's not, um, marijuana's still not gonna be legal federally when it happens on December 6th or out here at info time. Okay, here are some answers to frequently asked questions about the program. You're watching it right now. It's called Your Daily Hour with Me. It's on every day. That's seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 days a year on leap year. That's tapes at different times of the day. So when you call, leave a message and we'll call you back on TV. Anyone can come on the show, especially you. The program tapes in Olympia, Washington. You can watch a TCTV cable channel 22 at 11.30 p.m. or on YouTube. It tapes a week in advance, so if you're watching TCTV, this episode taped in the same weekday of the previous week. Please call in and tell your friends about the program. Your daily hour with me relies on the community for content. Thanks, and we'll see you back in the program. Right now, yeah, we are back. That's pretty Here good. we are. Oh, what, y'all? You think we're going to have more food? I want to call Jackie back. I want to hear what Jackie has to say. Oh, yeah, it's called Jackie. She wants to rap with us. Hmm. A little bit of rapping. I think that's what she said, right? That's what she said, except I don't know what she means. 
I I'm think she means talk. I hope she raps, though. You think she's going to, like, rhyme? I hope, yeah, I hope she busts some rhymes. Busts some rhymes. Oh, I have a text message. Personal personal phone calls. Here we go. It's calling Jackie. Here we go. Getting it ready. Calling Jackie. Say hello, Jackie. Thanks for watching the show. Tell, we'll tell her what it's about. What's it about, Jackie? I don't even know what it's about, Jack Sue. We will find out. It's what you make it, yeah. I feel like it's just like hanging out on the couch for an hour. Yeah, what is that about? Yeah. People call me. This, this is, I think it's a pretty common question. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, <laughs> they're really having a good answer. I don't feel like it really needs an answer. Yeah. It's just like hanging out with your friends for an hour on the couch, being on yeah. TV. Go for it. And Jackie uh, was watching the, sh the show, and she called this number up here. So if you guys are watching on TV and you want to uh, call and you can leave a message, you said get yourself on TV. It's this number right up here, 330 We said that in the info time. 3802. Yeah, can you read that? I guess you can because Jackie read it. Whereas Jackie's voicemail is not even picking up. So where is 330 area code from? It's from Ohio. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Thank you for calling. What? Can we not leave a message? Yeah, I guess we can't leave a message. There's no messages. No, I wouldn't leave a message. Call back. I no, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, it didn't go through. It just said no one is available to answer your call. Thank you. It didn't say leave a message or anything like that. I think it was huh. just a uh, no message machine message. Well, that's so weird. I've never seen such a thing before. It, it happened, I guess. Damn. Well, we have a couple more messages from Mr. Ginsu, and we'll call Mr. Ginsu back, too, and see, <laughs> see what else he has said. Yeah, he, uh, he left us. Oh, and then we have one, I think it's probably from you. Where your house? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know where I was going. I got to give you, yeah personal phone number the, the if you call the the show number to call sex show number we only check it on the phone or on the show oh, on the show so yeah. I, won't, I get a response till much which much later yes okay mr ginsu what's next so i got a question for you uh-huh have you ever seen a porcelain toilet burn burn no 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 that's a question you know about them apples uh, that's quick. So, answer the fucking question, motherfucker. I, no, my answer is no. How about, how about you? I don't know what he's asking. Have, he said, have you ever seen a porcelain toilet burn? A porcelain toilet burn? Por a por uh, uh, the porcelain. Like a, okay, yeah. No, I don't think I ever have. I've never seen any toilets bur burn. I don't even know what my toilet's made out of. And most of I don't know. They say most of them are made of porcelain. I would imagine. That's what they say, but that seems like that should be old. I don't know. That it seems like it gets expensive. I think my toilet's made out of plastic. Mmm, that doesn't sound that great. The it's not. Maybe I don't know if it was made out. Maybe out of porcelain. Maybe, g not glass. No, definitely not glass. Like mm. ceramic material. Yeah. Why? We. Uh, what about burning toilets? Is that a thing? Mr. Gin Gins is starting to say weird things, maybe. Seems so. This is last Who's the most important person on the Seahawks for the Seahawks? I don't know. Oh, do I answer my own fucking question? Yes. So, bitch. <laughs> I just got on the other TV show and <laughs> some phone going motherfucker, some dude motherfucker called in and he's drunk and he's hung up on his ass. And then the next guy answers his own question like I just did. And it's a motherfucker, huh? Yeah. That's that How about it? <laughs> Mr. Ginsu is watching football, I guess. I think it's football season. Oh, it so. started. Or no, it hasn't started. But it's like definitely getting really exciting right I think about I now. saw 
I saw a football game at a bar uh, earlier. I think it maybe was a um, warm-up game or something. Like preseason? Preseason, yeah. Well, I know that this weekend was definitely a huge time for it. Are you following football? I'm not, but there was a bunch of Facebook posts that were like, go Seahawks or go um, Jets. New Jersey Jets, I think. Yeah. You know people from New Jersey? Yeah. Well, I mean, New York. So, New Yorkers, some New Yorkers follow the Jets, some follow the... What's the New York team? Is it the Giants? New York, no. New York Giants. Yeah, I think so. New is York Giants, New York Jets. I think they're both New York, yeah. No, one is Jersey. Jersey Devils? Well, no, the stadium is in Jersey. The Jets stadium is in Jersey. Oh, it is? But they're not... Oh, are they the Jersey... No, they're the New York Jets, even though... Oh, okay. They're not New Jersey. I don't think New Jersey has a football team. That would <laughs> it would make sense. Also, New Jersey no longer has a basketball team. What was it before? It was the Nets, and they moved to Brooklyn. The Mets? The Nets. Oh, the... N- the Nets. The n- that is it, were, they, were they in the professional league? Yeah. Jason Kidd was on it. So the New York... Because New York has the Mets. New York has the Mets, but that's baseball. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that new? I've never heard of the Nets. The Nets, as in with an N? Yeah. No, they've been around for ages. Mm, really? Yeah. I don't remember them from, like, video games. That's where I mostly know team sports teams. And I don't remember them from any of those. We'll call him Mr. Ginsu here. I'll ask him if he's following football and if it's already started yet. <laughs> he, can tell us, he can tell us where the Jets are from. Yeah. I wonder what's his yeah. team. No, I think the Jets. I'm pretty sure the New York. It's in the New York Jets. It is in New York Jets. They just have their stadium in Jersey. That makes sense. Why would Why would they not be New Jersey then? Or mm. hello? What the hello, Mr. Ginsu? Hey, it answered, but it's not doing anything. Should we call back? Yeah, let's try calling one more time. Okay. We gotta find out about football. Who's gonna be in the Super Bowl this year? I have no idea. Football just started already? Cause isn't the Super Bowl in February? The Super Bowl was in February, yeah. So there's a lot of time. The football season's only like three months long. I feel like it might have started in September. Yeah, I think football season must have been going for a while now. Yeah. I don't know anything about football. I went to a few high school games, but... Your call has been forwarded to... Uh, oh. Oh. Oops, well, whatever. He'll call. Maybe he'll call back. Let's sure All right. So. Well, look, we're almost halfway through the program. Ooh, exciting tonight. Yeah, you see, that's all the messages, too. So we're going to be getting uh, some calls. Yeah, probably Freddie will call us back, and we'll call Dan Bennett, too. He's supposed to be here tomorrow. You see uh, any news? You watching the news? I have not watched the news. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's going on in the world with the news. I watched um, The Men Who Made America last night What's on that? the History Channel. The History Channel. You have cable? No, my friend has cable. We had a <laughs> All right, yeah, halfway through the program. Look at that, it's time for the dice game. Dice game. Here we go, Charlie gets a three. Let's see, I think you have 500 points with a two. James had a four. Alex had a one, I have a six. Do Here we, we go. Do we, do we change our numbers no, or no? No, keep the same number. Okay, cool. So roll the dice. Yeah, roll them right there. Charlie, you getting ready for this? What is he? He's watching. I don't know if he knows what's going on. Oh, two again. Wow, two and one. Two and one. I have 1,000 points. Wow. You are winning right now. I uh, I still have a chance to come back. So does Charlie. Me How many rolls do we have left? Two we more? have one more, one more instead of two. And if we get doubles, then we could tie at least. And what so happens with the tie? I for always forget. If there's a tie, we can uh, either decide to share the win, or we can decide that we want to um, battle. What does battling no, mean? Just, just the dice battle again. One more, just one more roll of dice. We we'll go high low. 
Okay. Unless it's a three-way tie, and then it's high, medium. Lowest. But it's not going to be a three-way tie. I mean, Charlie might. It will. It can only be a two-way tie at the most because we have to get doubles. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. Charlie, you going to win? You going to get doubles? Yeah. Yeah, Charlie doesn't know. He doesn't know. You know you're on TV? <laughs> he doesn't even know. Let's oh. call. Up. Oh. What? Yeah, let's, let's call. We're going to call Dan Bennett. Oh. Dan Bennett is uh, supposed to be here tomorrow. He comes every Monday. He's had, he's had hundreds of episodes. Mm. Here it goes. Damn, I'm so tired. This is bad. <laughs> okay. Sleepy? Yeah. It's, I think daylight savings time is messing with me still. Even though I was like, last week, it still seems too uh, late for... For, what the, what's the time right now? Like right now it's 6.46 for us here. Yeah. And it seems like it should be later. Yeah. Dan, uh, he screens his phone call, so we've got to listen to his message. Uh-oh. Damn. Maybe it. the phones are messing up, because this, uh, this is what happened with Mr. Ginsey, too. This is supposed to be a message machine, but it's just silent, so maybe maybe there's something going wrong What's with the phone. What's wrong with your phone? Uh-oh. Huh. Dan. Now we gotta point some phone tag. The phones are messing up a bit. It's the internet phone. We gotta get a better phone. I think it's a lot. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, I stayed up all night for the thing, so that's why I'm uh, uh, on time. I don't really have an excuse. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta listen to his message. Hopefully it'll... It'll work this time. It will go through. It has to. Now behold, you have reached Lord Danzio <laughs> and his telephone machine device. You must leave a message. Blah, 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 blah. Or if you do not, I will send my minion vote to shake the list of indignation into a general direction. And leave a message. Repeat <laughs> me. Hey, Dan. You're on the daily hour with me. Yeah, you there? Oh, you screening your phone calls? Mm -hmm. Dan, you answering? Hello? He, sometimes it takes a little while for him to answer because he, he has to find his phone and hears a message going, but maybe he's not even there. Yeah, maybe he's busy. You there, Dan? You get a lot of messages. He gets a lot of messages that are just like, hey! <laughs> hey! I bet. Pick up. Well, you're on the show tomorrow, apparently. Yeah, you're scheduled for tomorrow, so you got to figure out what time you want to come on and get that done tomorrow. I'm going to do it earlier in the day, probably, if we could. Uh, call us back if you get this in the next uh, 25 minutes. Thanks, Dan. See if he's going to make it. If you make it, we'll see you. Yeah. Let's see, we have a... Oh. Yeah, what's the schedule? Let's give the viewers a schedule. Brian Baker, who I don't know who that is. I have to figure out who that is. He's coming on Tuesday. And then on the 14th, we have this guy who called in about the um, the jail, uh, what do you call it? Pro uh, grand jury resistors. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. So this guy knows about maybe grand jury resistors, which is a, a thing. You guys should know about that. And yeah, that's important. On Thursday, Sadie's going to be here. And then on Friday, Bird's going to be here. And then on Saturday, it says rock and roll on the calendar. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know, I know what rock and roll means, but I don't know what are the are calendar means. Is there a show? Or are you filming at a show? No, I don't know what it is. I don't think so. Maybe we are. Somebody, nobody, uh, maybe somebody told me about it before and that I uh, don't remember. So hopefully they'll call me back. Otherwise, we'll just have to have a rock and roll day. All right. Here. Uh, yeah, those grand jury resistors, they were talking, somebody, or somebody, they're going to jail for something they shouldn't be going to jail for, they're out there somewhere, good, look it up on the, on the internet. It's just a, it's, <laughs> you know about that stuff? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, I, I can't articulate it totally and completely, but I can give you a gist, which is like, there's a witch hunt going on against 
um, political activists who identify as anarchists a lot of the time. And so after the May Day deal in Seattle, a bunch of people got their houses raided and they got subpoenaed. Ooh. And so during the subpoena, you go up against a grand jury to like name some names, but the people who didn't say anything and stayed silent got arrested. Um, and that's just the gist, so like. Look, yeah, find out more. Hey, Freddy. Hey, guys. What's going on? TV. How you doing? Good. I uh, got to here and started working, and I forgot to call you back, but then I remembered. Oh, good. Um, what were we, oh, your dad, your dad called us. What, really? Yeah. He played, uh. What did he have to say? He played some of the Downey Brothers on KEXP on the phone. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And he, he said... I played KEXP Downey Brothers on the phone. That's funny. That's great. He said, are you, are you with Martise? Yeah, I'm here with Martise. Because he said, hi. He said, good job to both of you uh, individually. He says, good job to both individually. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, not, yeah. not me. Well, cool. yeah, me too, though, also. Thanks. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. It's a really Thanks. sweet thing. I, uh, I'm glad he listened to that. That means a lot, Dad, if you're listening out there. That's nice of you to do. Yeah, that's a fun way to send a message that he was listening to it through the program. Very thoughtful of him. Yeah. He knew He knew that I would see it if uh, that's, how he <laughs> that's how he did it. So that's good. Yeah. Oh, he knows what you do. That's wonderful. Yeah, his two of his kids are in that band, though, so he's... Oh, nice. Or both, I guess, just, just the only, his only two, both of, I guess, both of them. All of them. <laughs> all of them. All of every the, kid he has. Yeah, every <laughs> kid he has in this band, so it's like his, uh, his DNA future, you know, I guess. Um, yeah, hopefully he likes it. He must, I guess, or he has to, because he's my dad. <laughs> he doesn't have a choice. He has no choice. He's seen the band before, right? Oh, yeah. The, he went and saw us when we played at Marymore Park. <laughs> and um, I think maybe before then. I mean, he, we played uh, one of the very first shows together at my house with him. He, we did, like, a Christmas show. It was not the same band at the time. but Oh, yeah. Uh, but me and him played a, a Christmas set, and then the band, the Downey Brothers, or the original, the original Downey Brothers, played a Christmas set, too. It was fun. Great. Wonderful. Anything? Uh, anything else? You see anything on the streets or? Uh, uh, it's got. It's got. You have to do the beginning all solo, then call. Maybe I'll just call it. Call is late. That's a good episode. Carl is late. Carl is Remember late. That? that was Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Um. Let's see. That's that's a. Isn't that election day for us? Yeah, that was... Uh, the sticks? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're right. But we never find uh, out about the elections on the thing. Also, my mom shows up on that episode on later. Carl... Yeah, did she show up twice in a row? She showed up the day before, too, right? She did. That's great. Two days in a row. Yeah, so Carl, we could call, yeah, Carl and mom or something. Um, that's good. We're almost going to get into a commercial break here. I'm waiting for it to happen. We're, like, getting to that point, you know? Oh, oh, there, there it is. is. You're breaking up a little bit. Commercial break. Dance only oh. Live TV dance party. First Friday of each month. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. TCTV Studio A. 440 Yager Way. Oh, yeah. Oh. Coming up tomorrow in the program. And upside down. Yeah, hey, look, we're over here. Yeah. On um, TV, it's the commercial. That's right. Mm -hmm. On today's episode, we talk about breast milk. Breast milk. Axe body spray. Axe body spray. Old commercials. Florida, New Jersey. And um, liquids. She's from Florida. You guys want to hear about Florida? Oh yeah. Yeah. You can watch the number and call. And stuff. Yeah. Call this number. Call right now! On TV. Call right now! Hurry! Quick! Before it goes away. Watch us right on every day at 11.30. Okay, we love you. <laughs>
Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're back. Okay, well, I want to hear about the, how the production then is going. We're already hung up over those commercial breaks, though. We're going to call him back and try to get the production, ask him about the production then. I don't know if we dro if we, the phone th call got dropped or something. Maybe the phones are we acting just up. Lost connection. It's not going to pick up. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe. Hey. Oh, hey, we, uh, we forgot to ask about the production then. That is, that what happens if you do sped up the whole daily hour in the 30 seconds? How fast would it go? It would, it would go 30 seconds long. Oh, yeah, but she's just meaning, uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like how fast would it look? But I don't think it's working. Here. It would look, I uh... Oh, I just... 120 times faster. Would it be 120? 120 times faster. I think so. Cause I'm yeah. going to try it. The, it just will, it would be interesting to see if it looks like you're standing still or, you know, uh, if you guys are jetting around the studio. I guess it's not, I can't show you guys over the phone anyway, so maybe I should stop talking about it. I'll just do it on my end. You can describe it, but how, how's the production end going? Um, it's going good. I'm getting caught up uh, and uh, cutting together episodes up through next Thursday, so um, we should be pretty well scheduled. Are you uh, in a play? The commercial, the only thing is the commercials on TV, I'm a little behind on those, but I think by tomorrow everything will be back in order, so it's going well, though. Oh, great. What play? Yeah, what production is this? For, this is the show production. What show? This, this show. This show. Oh, okay. Yeah, Freddie's right. doing the, the, the production there. He's putting it on TV, putting some yeah, titles I, I on Yeah, I help there. make sure the show gets on TV every day. Oh, okay, I see. Understand. It's Olga over there, yeah. Fred, did you know that already? Yeah. I uh, I figured it was Olga. <laughs> I could hear you in the voice. Yeah, no, um, it's there. So you want, you want on KXP? Yeah, we oh yeah, we got to play on KEXP. We were live on the radio. Um, it was pretty bizarre. I've never played and heard that the whole band just mostly through headphones before. You know, it's all it's all on headphones. The, the, was the DJ uh, was he like a a goofy a goofball? You know, like a DJ guy. Uh, he's a really sweet guy. What's the DJ's name who was working with us? Like Bill. Or Tom. No anyway, this guy, he's, he is just like the sweetest guy. Very, very all softball. He's just being really nice. Um, but he basically just kind of like sat to play the whole time. We, there was not much interview. It was good, though. I, yeah, the interview part is not, you know, you don't need to check that out. It's weird. Did you, did you get to say anything? Uh, I said my name and uh, the instrument that I played. I don't think I said much else, personally. It's weird, you know. It's strange uh, Strange being on the radio instead of, like, where people can see me. I feel maybe more comfortable talking if people can see, see what I look like when I'm talking, maybe. Oh, well, they can't see you right now, but maybe they already know. Most people know. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was fun. We got to record one of those little uh, things, those stingers, where it's like, hey, this is the Fabulous Sounding Brothers, and you're listening to KEXP. Or uh -huh. like I could say, hi, this is Lee Dobler, and you're watching your daily hour with me. And we could put those in there. We could have Olga do one, too. Oh, yeah. What? What's that? We, we should put some tags on there. You can throw some in there. At the uh, maybe after the commercial, put a spot for some tags, and then you can just grab a, some random tags and throw them on episodes. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Extra things, extra tags. 
Okay. Oh yeah. We better make it, we better make more work for ourselves. Can't, yeah. More can't work. Can't be getting lazy. More work. <laughs> Any? Uh, oh, how about how about Portland? Anything going on with Portland? We're trying to get down to Portland. Oh yeah, we need to call Merritt. We we got to do that Wednesday. We got to we could we could still conceivably well actually. You know, tomorrow is the holiday, so for us in the past, so uh, we're not going to be able to mail the DVD until Tuesday at the latest. So the Wednesday episode might not, it might be two weeks behind, but that maybe that's fine. Maybe that's a good amount to be working with then or that something. That is fine, but we're going to be mailing a DVD? Uh, that's what I assumed. That's what she implied that was going to be the way that it was going to go. That seems so archaic. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Snail mail. Who does that anymore? I think we could probably figure out a way to, I don't know, what, STP? Yeah. Files are only like eggs each, so it's not, it wouldn't be hard to transfer them digitally. If you guys out there know about that, and maybe we can figure it out. Can't we send it through like a, a torrent network or something? I think we could do that. Uh, that's like what torrents are for, is for sending your own stuff to each other. Yeah, um, BitTorrent, we could do that. I, I mean, we could probably even use the Google Dropbox thing, I think, but we'd only be able to do one at a time that way. Yeah. But we're going to be playing in Portland pretty soon. Woo! Yeah, so we're going to be, we're expanding our, uh... Horizon. Our range, yeah. Our network. Our range. The Daily Hour Network. Yeah. <laughs> sending a DVD in the mail seems really crazy, too, because it's like sending digital files. Snail mail. Oh, wow, that's funny. I never yeah. thought about that. Huh. That would be a weird thing to do. Okay, well, thanks, Freddy. <laughs> yeah, thank you, program. Have a great time, and, uh, yeah, good job doing what you do. You're doing it well. Great. Bye-bye. Thanks for being Bye. here. Oh, yeah, thank you. All right, well. Is it time to call McDonald's yet? Yes, it is. That's all I was going to do next. You got it. We're about, it's like. Seven, eight minutes left on the show here. We'll start calling some McDonald's, see how McDonald's is doing today. See what's going on. It's about seven o'clock here for us, so that means I think we should probably be calling um, the West Coast. So, California or Oregon. Let's do Oregon tonight. Okay, we're going to call Oregon. Do you uh, have a city in Oregon? Um... Clackamas. Clackamas. Is that okay? See? Clackamas, Oregon. McDonald's. Let's see how they're doing today. See if they have the uh, eggnog or pumpkin pie milkshakes. C clack. C L A C K? I so yeah, I think so. Here it is. Clackamas, Oregon, yeah. Uh oh. All right, it's going up. We're gonna call them. Let's say. How, yes. many, how many McDonald's are in Clackamas? Oh uh, yeah. Or is that a county? I don't know anymore. It's a. Uh, I think it's a city. It's looking like it's a city on here. Yeah. The tiniest of cities, I'm sure. That's what we used to ask in the very beginning. We said, "How many Ma McDonald's are in your city?" Oh really? Do you not anymore? That was one of the first things. Did you listen to the radio episodes? Mm-mm. Here it is. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a time for the last dice game. Ooh. All right, Charlie, you are three. All right, yeah, we'll play the last dice game. I'm call McDonald's here. All right. You should roll the die. I'll roll. I'll roll. Uh, try, oh, getting excited. Charles getting excited about the dice game. Okay. Kiss it for good luck. Okay. Here goes. Oh, a three and a five. Three and a five, Charlie. You got 500 points, but Olga won. Woo! Yeah, with a uh, thousand points, Charlie. We didn't win today. <laughs> it's okay. What do you think about that? Oh, he's he's taking a nap. Yeah. What is going on? With me? Charlie, you taking it hard? Is it okay that you didn't win? I think he's okay. <laughs> that? 
Marcus McDonald says, Shannon, how can I help you? Hi, McDonald's. Do you guys have those pumpkin pies yet? No, we do not have pumpkin pies. Oh, uh, did I miss them or did you just never got them? I I, I don't know if we're going to get them or not. Uh, you guys don't have like a calendar that says when your food is coming out or something? No. Uh, how do you know what's coming out? Do they tell you or do they just surprise it on you? I can't hear a word you're saying. Oh, uh, do they do they tell you when the food's coming up or do you just show up and then there's new food? They they tell us maybe like two weeks before we get something if we're gonna get it. So you're not you're not getting the pumpkin milkshakes at least within the next two weeks? No. But maybe after? What do you guys got right now for milkshakes? We have eggnog. Eggnog. I wanted to get that pumpkin pie. Did, uh, what about the shake? Did I miss the shake? I, I, I do not believe we are getting any other special shake. Oh. Uh, what's the newest? Yeah, what's, the new, what's your new, what's your new what's deal the new, there? What's your new shake there? I'm sorry, what? What's the new thing? You guys got a new uh, item, menu item there? We have the cheddar bacon onion. Mm. Cheddar bacon onion, huh? Have you had that one? Is it good? Yeah. You guys cook those onions? I'm sorry, do uh, I what? Is it raw onions? Are they cook they grill onions? Okay. They're grilled onions. Do you guys grill them or do they come in a bag pre grilled? <laughs> we grill them. From raw? Yes. Do you guys chop them too? <laughs> no. They come pre chopped and then you grill them? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you and have a pleasant day. Oh, you too. Uh, oh, is she being sarcastic? Do <laughs> <laughs> certain. I think that's just what they do. <laughs> that's how McDonald's is sound. That's what they sound like. That is what you get. The same things all the time. They talk in drive through, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's call another one. That one was on 82nd Drive in Clackamas. This one is uh, two of them on the same street. Oh, ooh, must competition. Be real, must be a real long. I think. Or they're a block away from. That other result is better. Uh, Charlie, yeah? You think so? Thank you for calling McDonald's Restaurants. We apologize for not being able to take your call at this oh, time. Oh, no. Maybe it's the, the office. Message, and we will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Hi, McDonald's. It's the program. Uh, you can call us back. The number is 330-536-3802. We have some questions. Yeah, we're going to be here for about five minutes. So if you get this phone call within the next five minutes, you can give us a call back. But give us a call back anyway. Also, leave a message, though. Uh, so yeah, so thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, we're getting down to it with the last couple of minutes of the show. Do you have anybody you want to call? Who shall? Oh, Portland ladies are in town right now. Oh, should we call Reese? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, let's see what Reese is doing. Tell Reese to come on the show. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You should get all of them on the show. They're I think in town till Tuesday. Who's that? Yeah, what's her name? Sophie. Sophie's here. Meg is here, I think, and I think Mangy is here too. Wow. Yeah, because Justine's movie is coming out on Monday. Her grand debut. Oh, yeah. I I don't have the... Uh, yeah, I, phone yeah, I here, totally have Reese's phone number. I don't seem to have it on here, which is something that's weird. You should we're going to call him. We're going to say, uh, come back on the show before you go leave Por back to Portland there. Yeah. You know, Oh well, and you're you're gonna be leaving. This is gonna be your last episode for a long time, maybe. Yeah. So, oh, uh oh. This is my oh. final exit. You'll probably come back for like holidays or something, right? You're gonna leave right before Thanksgiving, huh? Yeah. I hate Thanksgiving, so I figured I can leave and avoid it. Do you, 
family squabbles and stuff? Or? Yeah, I mean, not anymore, but it was one of those deals for a while. Yeah, that's what happens from um, lots of family gatherings. They, they think it's going to be fun, but the family, the family is like fight with each other sometimes. It's just like forced family fun. Yeah. You have to like sit around and talk to the family and you know, any, anything you want to say to them and then kind of like avoid talking to your family for a long time and then there's a holiday, you sit down and then it gets weird, weird stuff happens. And then, yeah, and finally shit comes out. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, movies about <laughs> things dra- drama on Thanksgiving. Hey, leave a message. Uh-oh, Reese didn't answer. Well, let's leave him a message. Hey, Reese, it's the program. Hey. Call us back. In the next four minutes? Yeah, or four minutes or less, maybe three. But uh, yeah, call us back in another program before you leave back to Portland. We miss you. Who about your your friend we called last time? We should call them again. Tell them. Should we that we're call on TV Jessica one more time? again? Yeah. Last minute, last minute Jessica phone call. Yeah, that's what we did last time too. <laughs> Said she's not gonna be asleep this time. I was gonna say, hey, you're on TV. Where's nine zero four? Um, I believe it's a Florida number, although I think she's from Oklahoma. I don't know. What? It's one of those. Is it an internet phone? That's why does she have a Florida area code from being from Oklahoma? No, I think it's maybe it's Florida. I'm I have no I- no idea. She's not gonna pick up. Hello. Yay, Jessica. Yes, you're yeah, we're on TV. You're on TV again. Who is it? <laughs> it's the TV. It's the Daily Hour with me, and I'm, this is Olga. We're on TV. I can't hear you. You sound like you're in space. We're on TV. I'm at the Reef Bar. <laughs> what are you doing at the Reef? I'm um, hanging out, but I'm going to go to the Clipper at 9. Oh, you are? This is Olga Dog. You're on TV. Hey, is it Olga? Yeah. Are you just telling random people that you don't even know what you're, what you're doing like where you're, and where you're going? I can't hear you at all. I'm at the reef right now, but I'm going to go to the Clipper. Where are you? Um, I'm on the show. It's the end. Thanks. <laughs> you're on the where? I'm on the daily after. I can't hear you at all. Bye. Thanks. Thanks, Olga. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Bones. Call that number. Get on TV. Thanks, Facebook. Check us out on Facebook. We're on there. <laughs> Thurston County. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, we are. Thanks, episode number and date. And the producers. Thanks, producers. Thanks, crew. Who's on the crew? Oh, yeah. You're, you're, we put you on the crew of the website. Oh, you thing. did? Thank you. Maybe. Go look at the website. We have more crew on the website, but if you want to go on the crew, call the number there. We'll get you on there. Thanks, TCTV. 26 years. Yeah. yeah. USA. Yeah, that's where we are. Thanks for that. Mm. Thebigbay.com. Check it out. They're wonderful. Yeah, Donald Kelly. Yeah, Charlie. And Jackpot, too. That's a good story. Downtown, the gift stop. Downtown, thanks viewers. That's you. You're watching. Thank you. But seriously, this is a jackpot. You know, it can be a sponsor. Just call that number. You get you info you need. Heed. Bye. Have a good night, and thanks for having me.